I'm Nina Curley from WAMDA, reporting live from ArabNet. We're here in the WAMDA booth with Arda Kutsal, the founder of WebRazi, which is essentially the tech crunch of Turkey. Arda, Arda, how are you? Yeah, fine, thank you, thank you. How are you enjoying ArabNet? Yeah, it's perfect, it's nice. It's the first time I'm in Middle East, actually, uh, in like, the Arab in, 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 in Arab world and also in ArabNet. So it's nice being here. I'm get, uh, trying to know startups, uh, get used to the market and meeting new people. It's nice, perfect. Great. So tell us a bit about WebRazi. You essentially combine a content channel with a yearly tech event, just like ArabNet or you know, possibly like LeWeb. Um, how did you start it? Mm -hmm. It was uh, when I found the WebRazi in 2006. Uh, I was working for a venture capital firm. Then I started to blog at webrazi.com. And after a year, uh, things were going fine. So I quit my job and started my own company. So starting from 2006, uh, WebRazi kept growing. And now uh, we have like 10 full-time uh, staff, like writers, tech people, marketing people, and all sorts. And plus we have uh, six, seven part-time writers. So totally we have a team of like 70 people. And also we organize one of the markets, I mean, Turkey's uh, top most influential tech events, uh, our annual uh, summit, which is called WebRasti Summit. Uh, it was in October 2011. And again, this year is going to be in October 2, uh, reaches to 1,000 uh, people around. And when we live streamed it last year, uh, we had over 20,000 viewers. And we also organized some vertical events as well. Uh, for example, an event just focused on e-commerce or just focused on digital marketing. So this year we have three small vertical events for 500 people each and we're going to have our big event in 4th of October, which is WebRazi Summit, and yeah, that's I all. See. And we also obviously cover uh, tech startups, we break uh, news, so yeah. Just like Wanda. Um, yeah. Just so, like Wanda, yeah. <laughs> But so, so it's, WebRazi is a bit more mature than ArabNet, and the Turkish market on the whole is generally acknowledged to be more mature than the, than the Arab world market. When you come here and you look at startups, what are the differences that you see between the average startup here and the average startup at WebRazi? Actually, like, um, I was talking to some of the entrepreneurs here, uh, some founders of the startups. Uh, I feel like, like four or five years ago in Turkey, we were nearly the same. And they, what, what they need is, as long as I see, some success stories and some case studies, case studies to show to foreign investors or local investors. So uh, I think they have a problem with investment and obviously exits. And also uh, they, they, they need to see some good uh, success stories. Like in Turkey, we had the same problem. Uh, starting from 2006, uh, I don't know how many entrepreneurs are met or how many startups we covered, but like uh, it was all the same. Uh, at one point, uh, we started to hear some good startups uh, which sold, I mean, uh, which are sold to some big brothers and some good investments from, I don't know, foreign VCs. At that point, things start to change. Uh, so I think Arab world, especially the people I met in ArabNet, uh, they need they need this. They need some uh, best practices, some good case studies to show off, and that's all I guess. Afterwards, in four or five years, things will change, I believe. And the funny thing is, uh, they are they, they if they, when they complain about the market uh, and they ask uh, me about Turkish markets, how we uh, succeeded in some sort of key factors. Uh, I, I get quite surprised because we are trying to expand into Middle East markets and they are really uh, looking at Tur Tur Turkey as a role model. So I'm, I'm quite surprised at this. I see. So you feel like you're not the big brother, but you're just the slightly older brother. Yeah, exactly. Still developing. Yeah, our, our e-commerce market is yeah big. It's growing uh, compared to 
Arab world uh, is growing, like Turkish e-commerce market is around 12 billion dollars and we have like 35 million internet users so uh, it's more than Arab world but uh, we are planning to expand into here because of penetration and because of the potential here so I think entrepreneurs and startups uh, they, they need to see this potential and work so hard but what they need to do is they need to show off a little bit I see. Well, in 2012, it's one of the big trends of the year, you know, peak games entering the market, in, in entering the Arab world. Um, oh, market, you know all about it. Market, market VIP, you know, taking investment from a Turkish investor. Um, why is Turkey? It's a, it's a cohesive market of 80 million. It's now looking to the Arab world to enter. Why are you looking to the Arab world instead of Europe? And how, how are Turkish startups looking at the Arab world? Like, uh, for example, for, for my company, Verbrazi, we are also interested with the Arab world. We, we are planning to expand into MENA region. And because, uh, like, the, the culture is quite similar. And we know these markets. And also, there is not much competitors. So, uh, Turkish companies uh, focused on the Arab world, I think they have this in their mind as well. Because in Europe, yeah, there's competition and culture is quite different. States, let's not talk, talk about it. <laughs> so, uh, MENA is, is, the, is the best target for them now because of culture and like ease of travel, obviously. And so for us, it's the same. Like, Bebrazi can expand here because like we are meeting you. There's not much events here. Uh, there's not much content sites. Uh, Wanda doing a great job, and I, I, don't, I only know Wanda, by the way. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, Arabnet is doing some yeah, yeah, uh, content as well. So uh, this is a great market for us. And as I said, I see like four or five years ago, Turkey was same, and now uh, I feel like we need to be here because Mina, Arab world, has this opportunity. So I think Turkish companies are doing the correct thing. Moving in the right direction. Yeah, like Peak Games. And I know a couple of private shopping companies are planning to expand into MENA as well. Uh, I'm not going to uh, tell them now because they may, they may not be ready for this, I for see. an announcement. But uh, there are many companies interested with MENA markets. I see. So you think this is what we're going to see a lot more of in, 2000, in, the, in the rest yeah. of the year, in 2013? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, sorry, I, I couldn't catch the question. No, this is this is what we're going to see a lot more yeah, of this right. in, year and next right. year. Yes, um, and and so this is what's next for you as well, establishing a presence in the Arab world web, as Web Razi. We we are just now at the moment just trying to figure out and understand the markets. So uh, as we understand and as we are sh when we, when we are sure that yeah we need to be here, we will definitely. All right. Well, ahlan wa Just uh, welcome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Teşekkürler. <laughs> Just thank you. Thank you in Turkish. Great. Well, thanks for chatting with Wamda. Thank you.